Today we are at Southview School Dubai with their Assistant Head and Director of Sport. Steve, can you introduce yourself to the SchoolsCompared.com viewers and tell us about your background and what you do at Southview? My name is Steve Simmons. I've been in education for about 15 years now. I started off in Twickenham where I graduated from St Mary's College and I was a teacher there for four years. Um, working my way into middle management, being the coordinator of IT and PE. I moved to Dubai in 2010 and worked at Jess Ranches for three years as a class teacher. And then I moved to Victory Heights um, when it opened and became the head of PE there. When Southview School opened two years ago, I was a founder member of the school um, and have uh, since worked in building up the PE department as director of sport and working in the senior leadership team as the assistant head. This is a video series to help parents choose the right school for their child. Steve, what are the top three questions parents should ask schools when they visit and what are good answers to these questions? My first one would be value for money, um, especially in the current climate with financial restrictions and, and the economy as it is at the moment, um, and thinking about what is best for your child. Um, certainly with some schools there might be hidden costs as well and that's always important to think about what might you be needing to pay for in the year or over the years in terms of trips and things like that um, and what are the main focuses for the school are they focused on sports arts uh, the curriculum the academics and how would that suit your school um, and your child particularly if they are a keen musician or a keen sportsman what will best um, suit them as they're moving forward my second one would be the location um, and the community. Um, if you're already in Dubai, it might be worth thinking about where the school is in relation to your home, um, particularly now in terms of buses and the journey for the child in the morning and after school. Uh, we have been in a, a period of lockdown and sometimes thinking ahead if they are on the bus on their own for a period of time before about their mental well-being and how they would feel about that. And also, in terms of if you're moving to Dubai, um, the school should have a factor in terms of where you would be looking to live. Um, the close, uh, close to your home would probably suit your, yourself and you could then become involved in the community of the school as well. My last one would be the curriculum of the school. Um, I've been asked questions before on, on tours and during assessments whether if your child is coming from uh, an American curriculum or Indian to curriculum to our school, because um, we are a UK curriculum school, how that affects the child. Um, and I'd always think that in, in some ways it doesn't really matter what curriculum you're coming from. Um, there might be gaps and things, but um, a good school always makes sure that we fill those gaps. And eventually, when you get to university, if that's the, the route you want to take, um, you kind of start again anyway. Whatever course you decide to do, you will always learn what you need. Um, so it shouldn't worry too much um, in terms of the curriculum, especially if you are changing from one to the other. Steve, what really matters when parents are looking for the right school for their child? I always think it, it's how it feels. Um, for the parents, when you're on a tour, I think it's always important to bring your child with you. Um, and talk to them as well and see how they feel. Um, I know I've been on, on tours here and I always think it's, it's, you can tell from how friendly the staff are, you can tell from a feel in terms of the children moving around, if they're polite, if they open the door. I think those little things go a long way to showing uh, you how the school runs and how the, the school sort of treats your, your child and will take them forward in their education. Um, and I think it's something you can't almost put, put words. It's very much a, a feel. When you walk through that door, how do you feel? Can you see your child being here for the next five, ten years? And I think that, that goes a long way to deciding your next school. Do whistles and bells matter, Steve? I think whistles and bells help. I think they certainly enhance what's already there, but I don't think it, it makes an education. Um, certainly facilities and, and all those types of things definitely help, no doubt about it, but the, the bones and the, and the crux of the school have to be child-centred, um, has to be able to, to work without those things necessarily, especially now um, during times where ordering and getting new, new equipment and things in might be tricky. 
I think a, a good school, an outstanding school, will still make sure that your child learns um, regardless of, of what they've got. Um, so yes, it enhances, but I think if a school um, can make sure that your child learns and has a, has a great education without all those things, then the bells and whistles just enhance it. Thank you. Thank you. Can you summarise the single most important piece of advice you can give parents when deciding on a new school for their child? I think, again, it's back to what the child needs. You, you know your child better, better than anyone. You know what their skills are and their talents are. And if you can find a school that will focus on your child and make sure they excel in whatever um, form it might be, whether it be sports or music, then that's the, the school for your child. The one that makes sure it's a child-centered approach and make sure that they have their best sort of route to whatever career they decide to do. Steve, thank you very much for your time today. Thank you very much.